Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafter Noon. Today for your project, you're going to need um, four sheets of Dolomite printer paper, a sheet of colored printer paper, or um, a sheet of plain white printer paper that you have colored. You're gonna need a ruler, pencil, some scissors, or if you have a paper cutter, and it's just some plain white glue. So the first thing you need to do is take four sheets of your white paper and you need to cut it down so that it is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters or approximately, what is that? Eight inches by eight inches. So all of your white printer paper, those four sheets need to be uh, 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter square as does your piece of colored paper. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take those four slices of white paper. I'm going to use my paper cutter, but you could use scissors and a ruler if you need to. And you need to cut them in half so that we end up with eight sheets of paper that are 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And then once we have our eight sheets of paper that are all that length, what we need to do is begin folding them and we're going to fold them in half this way like that and we can do all of them in half first it'll probably be easier than trying to remember the steps through all of them so we'll fold them all in half i have some of them already done so i'm only going to do four of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So that would make eight. So once we have them all folded in half like this, we're gonna fold them in half this way. And then once you have them folded in half this way, we're gonna take each side of that V, and we're gonna fold that side down to the outside, matching it up with the bottom there, making your creases nice and tight. There, so you have what kind of looks like an M. And we're gonna do that with all of our sheets of paper. So, like I said, fold it in half, like this. These ears have been done when you're doing it in front of your face and not on the table and then each half of that V, fold it down so that it matches up at the bottom. And you'll end up with a letter M or a W, depending on how you're holding it, of course. There. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do that for all the rest of my pieces. Trying to make it as even as possible so that your end project will fit together nicely. I said I did a few of these up ahead of time so it's not going to take me as long as it will take you but you are welcome to pause the video and finish all of your letter M's before moving on to the next step which is what we will do here right away last one Oof, and it's being a pain so that one's not so even but hey The more you do, the better you get at it, right? So now, once you have all of your folded up pieces, gather them all up in front of you, and you take two of your pieces, and what we're going to do is apply, you can open it up just a little bit, because you don't want to completely unfold it. I'm gonna put a little bit, of course my glue is flawed, so I did not do glue bottle maintenance. <gasps> Shame on me. There we go. A little bit of glue. You can use uh, a glue stick for this probably, but I just happen to have white glue. And you don't, you, you want to insert one into the other and glue it so that we're making one long strip. Oh, oh I did that wrong, of zigzags. Wow. 
we've done this before. <laughs> Just goes to show you that everybody messes up while crafting. See, once you get it glued together. So maybe it's best to line up which way your zigzags go by inserting one page, one sheet into the other to make sure it's gonna be folding the right way. Nope, that's not folding the right way. And then removing it so you get the orientation correct. Throwing some glue in, gluing it in, making sure that it's as even as possible. Ta-da, it's like an accordion. Big, long accordion is what you want it to look like. And we'll just keep going with that. Yep, that's going to accordion properly. Do, do, do. It's like making a giant elongated paper fan. And if you mess up, like I said, when I did my first one, I had the orientation wrong, so it wasn't folding properly. You can always just bend, bend your folds back the other way and it will work out. You want to have it open a little bit because if, if it's not completely open and you try to just slide your next section in, it's going to glue where it is and it's not going to work out for you. you have all your sections just kind of fold it all up together give it a bit of a squeeze try to even it out if you can mine's this second one that I've made is a little bit more wobbly than the first one that I made now you have one giant long accordion so we want to accordion this and what we're making I showed you what we're making tonight we're making a little book a little bound, beautifully covered book that you can use for like notes or tiny little drawings. I figured that we could make a book because it is writing month for subject matters and I thought it would be highly appropriate. So now to get it to keep that bookish shape, you need to stretch it out in front of you and we are going to apply glue just to glue one side closed. Oh, every section will get a little bit of glue just on the one side. And once it's closed, it will be book shape. So, shoop, close her up, give her a bit of a squeeze. And once those are sticking, you'll see how it will work as a book. It will open up like that, right? So, I would suggest while we move on to the next step, putting this portion underneath something heavy. I'm going to put it under my coffee cup just to make sure it glues nice and flat. See, coffee saves everything for me. So next we're going to move on to our big piece of paper, um, or our colored piece of paper. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. You guys have maybe already done that because I think I instructed you to cut that one in half as well. We only need one half of the colored paper to make one book. So. This process is a little bit different to make the book covering. You want to just bend it in half this way. The first step is the same, but just lightly crease it right in the middle, even just one single little pinch, so you have a visual gauge of where the center of that paper is. Because what we are going to do is we're gonna take one long edge and fold it not quite to the middle. If you're having a hard time visualizing it, you can also use your ruler and a pencil to make a little mark in the middle of your, what is the middle of the page. So you wanna fold it not quite to the middle. Can you see my pencil mark there? And we're gonna do that on the other side as well. Because this is what's going to be the cover of our book. Not quite to the middle. Then we're 
going to take our book, make sure that our pages are opening outwards, and you can wrap this around where your book pages are joined together. And we're going to make a little mark on your book cover where those pages sit, where the spine of your book should be. And you can fold along that line on either side. That's one side. And that's the other side. So that it is holding its square kind of shape. And then you slide your book back in there. Make sure it's lining up. And it is sitting pretty good. Not bad. Now you need to mark on here where your book pages end on the outside of the book cover too. Because that also needs to be folded in. So we make a little fold there. And we make a little fold here. Okay, here comes the tricky part. Put your book spine into the spine of your book cover, and you're gonna take your very first page, and it's going to slide inside like that. See? Then you take your back page, and you do the same thing. It's gonna slide inside. You don't have to have your, your book spine tucked in yet, because it would be impossible to do to get these slid inside. Slide that all the way in, and then pop your spine into the spine of your book cover. Give it a good little squeeze, and there you have it. A teeny tiny little notebook. Make dozens of them. Put them on your bookshelf. Keep your secrets in them. Thanks guys for joining me for the afternoon. Um, hopefully we'll see you again next week.